on mine and this. Now it is my pleasure to inter introduce another great leader. <laughs> so, after being harassed outside, after being harassed outside, uh, we are now just had one of the staff come up to me and say, did we sneak in when there was literally a line? They said, there was a line of press and they said, U.S. outlets only, not local outlets, so we walked up. And, and we walked through. And she just asked me, did we sneak in? So I said to her, you know, it's interesting, I had one of your staff following me outside, and now I have you coming up to me asking if we snuck in. It's almost like your outlet, like your campaign almost has an issue with me. And then she said, okay, thank you. And now she's texting somebody. So clearly they are monitoring us here. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And the most amazing part of this is... Uh, go get the lock. ...following me outside. Excuse me. Was following me outside. I have credentials. I could show it to you. And now you've had two people come up to me harassing me here. Is this what you do to the press? No, no. No, no, because I actually went up to somebody outside and said, why are you following us? And now inside you're coming up to me... Disrupting what? I'm under the impression that you were disrupting people in line. Disrupting by interviewing them? Is that's disruption? No, we've been told by people that they were disrupted by you. How, how, what does that mean, disrupted? Is this how you treat the press? <laughs> Do you see what's going on here? We literally interviewed people online. There was no issue. They were harassing us outside. And now they are coming up saying we disrupted people. People came up to us saying we were disruptive. And now they are trying to kick us out because basically they've been following us from the beginning of the event. And now we're trying to kick us out because we interviewed people outside. There was not one interview we had that was tense at all. It was all nice, kind. It's, I literally have never dealt with any of this before at any event. Not a Trump event, not a Pete event, not, excuse me, not a Trump event, not a Hillary event, not a Bernie event, not a Biden event. It's literally like swarms of people that work for Pete basically harassing us. Like, I have the credentials here right on my phone. We signed in at the front desk. Yeah, they took my credentials right off of my chest like I had right here and she just walked up to me before she started talking to me she ripped it off and then she's like uh, I don't think you guys are supposed to have credentials I'm like well why did you just touch me why did you just take it off my jacket what is wrong with you this is in Nazi Germany have credentials. I'm, I'm not you guys to, are harassing us. I'm not I'm, trying to kick you out. Okay. You are allowed to come out. I was just telling you that you're allowed to stay as long as you... Excuse me, do you know one of your people came up to my cameraman without even saying a word and ripped his credential right off him? I did not know that, but we were This is how you treat the press? No. I'm not saying you, but... We, I apologize for that. I interviewed your supporters outside. Yeah. There was no issue. One of your staffers was literally following me up and down. Okay? Then we wait at the press booth. We wait at the press booth. We sign in. I have credentials. He has credentials. Excuse me. Then, after, after letting us in, after letting us in, we waited like they told us to. Somebody said, if you are U.S. press, please come up. Okay. So we came up and, and, we, walk, and we walked in. And then somebody came up to my cameraman without saying a word and just ripped his press thing off. So I'm not trying to be rude, but like, I've gone to Trump events and never had to deal with this. That's, and that should not have happened, and I understand that that's really frustrating, so I apologize on behalf of our team. We're trying to do you a service.
to come here and tell you that you are allowed to stay here. And we just ask you to follow the rules that everyone else follows. Not that I have seen you breaking them, but just that you aren't disrupting voters while they're watching. And then, um, which you're doing fine. She said I was disruptive outside. We interviewed six people with, with no issue. There was not even, we were, there was no, not even an exchange. We, we just ask all video cameras to just like make sure you're not blocking voters' views and things like that, which you're obviously totally fine here. So I apologize for the campaign treating you like that. Um, just will. Hey, I'm not, get, I'm not, listen, all I'm saying for a campaign that has whatever issues with black people, to come up to my black cameraman and rip his thing off? I know it's not you, but what's your name? Cameron. Appreciate it. Yeah, so um, like I said, I went through an ordeal where I was just filming, doing my job as a journalist. The lady walked up to me and she just ripped the credentials right off my jacket and then spoke to me and said, hey, I don't think that you guys are supposed to have credentials. I don't think you guys are supposed to be here. And I'm like, well, before I could explain and ask, how did I get a name tag with my name on it if I snuck in? I was like, listen, I'm going to talk to my boss, all right? We're going to walk over there. You're not kicking me out before I have a word. And that's how we had, we got into the argument. So, wait, wait, wait. To be clear, she came up to you and ripped your name tag off before she said anything. She ripped my name tag off and then said, I'm sorry, I don't think you're supposed to have credentials. You just ripped my credential right off me. I'm not stupid. And let's explain to the audience, you were very calm, intentional. Of course, I have to keep a straight face, I have to keep a smile on, because anything other than, you know, happiness and smiles for a black man in America means a threat. And I don't want to seem threatening, I don't want to get kicked out, God forbid, I don't want the cops called on me. Um, so yeah, I kept my composure, but I'm seething inside right now. I just feel so... I don't know what to say. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.